Hey everyone, today I am going to show you the new Natasha Denona Mascara Masquerade. I got this on Beautylish. It is called the Blackest Black Mascara. And it is actually for Natasha Denona. I was surprised it's $24. So yes, it's um, luxury mascara price. Uh, Cause I think anything in the $20 range is but it's not drugstore, but it's, um, Natasha Denona is known for her really expensive eyeshadow palettes and actually amazing eyeshadows, if to be honest, they're, they're sublime. Um, and so I was like, oh, this is $24. That's pretty great. So, um, this is the wand it comes, the tube, and it is paraben free, not tested on animals, and made in Italy. So, the, the little brush is different, okay? Check this out. It's inverted, it looks like to me, like it's thicker on the end and then it goes thin. So the idea is that this captures as many hairs as possible and it is like a fiber kind of building mascara. So the idea is that it's gonna be just your most amazing mascara, lengthening, thickening, volume, all that good stuff. And I have tried it and I do like it, but I'm like, do I love it? So I'm gonna demonstrate it for you. Problem is right now, I think this is the eye. I feel like I broke an eyelash on this eye. So I feel like there's like a chunk missing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I am just going to build it on my left eye. And you guys can listen to this groovy music while I put on mascara. How about that? Making sure you can see me. So I'm trying to like figure out this wand. It is so weird. It really does capture every flash. I'm a mascara blinker. I like to blink. Well, clearly you can see already that the mascara side is significant compared to the non-mascara side. I do like that it is separating and giving me every individual lash, no matter how many times I brush the brush, it's not, I might speak too soon, I kinda did there, but they don't clump together. of amazing. Let's try it in a couple seconds and put on a second coat. I don't know, do you guys count that as one coat when I keep applying? Because I count that as one coat and then I go back and when it dries a little bit I put on some more. So lately my mascara obsessions have been the Pure Cosmetics Mascara, Chanel. I even enjoy the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I've got my Japanese mascara. Okay, so it does kind of change the dynamic when you let it sit a minute and then reapply some more. I'm getting kind of, you know, that thicker effect which isn't bad, it's just sort of a, it's a preference. You know, it's either you like it like this or you don't. So you either stop after the first coat um, because you like them all feathery and thin and wispy 
or you keep going and you get them thick and crazy long. So I'm going to compare it to my favorite Japanese mascara, which is Eye Mania. This I feel like is intensely black and it has lots of fibers and it is $18, I believe. I think it's under 20. Um, you can get it on Amazon. So let's just do a little comparison. Like, how does the Natasha Denona measure up? And like I said, this is the eye. <laughs> this is the eye that has the, um, the lash missing. I must have rubbed my eyes unintentionally. I hate rubbing my eyes. I try not to, but I always... I swear I break a lash if I do. If I rub them. So this is the it's a very this is a very fibery mascara. It's got some good roughage. Now I feel like my lashes are longer with the Imania mascara. The other thing I will note, the Natasha Denona one does remove nicely and it doesn't flake or anything like that. Like it wears well during the day. Giving it a minute. You guys know that my lashes, I don't have, like I've never done extensions, but I am using that new lash serum. And the reason I love it so much is not only does it help my lashes to grow because my lashes were not like this six months ago. They were spindly and nothing. Um, but it doesn't irritate my eyes. Other lash serums have always left my eyes red and itchy and the new lash serum doesn't. So I definitely recommend the Natasha Denona mascara. And it is, I mean, it is exquisite as you can see. But um, I don't know if it's better than some of the mascaras that maybe we adore out there. But, you know, it's always fun to try something new and mascara is something where, you know, you don't know if your lashes or your eyes or how they're going to react to it. So, yeah, so I give it a thumbs up. Okay, I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.